Hey everyone, so this video was actually a request. Um, so this has to do with a cone draining into a cylinder. So I've, I've written a problem. Um, so just as a reminder, I do take requests and I take them whether you're one of my students or not. I think I have some people who watch this channel who aren't one of my students specifically, but if you ever have a request, you can always just drop it in the comments um, and I do keep up with comments. And also if you find my channel helpful, if you like my videos, or subscribe or leave me comments that really helps me out so just consider doing that with videos that you find helpful I'm trying to make a very accessible math channel for everybody so the more feedback I get the better I can make it so let's just jump right into the problem so this is actually a two-part problem um, so the first part of this is so Este is making tea by pouring hot water into a conical filter with tea leaves and allowing them to drain into a cylindrical pot. And the water is draining into the pot at the rate of 11 inches cubed a minute. So the first question is how fast is the level of the pot rising when the water in the cone is five inches deep? Okay, so I've drawn this here with a few other things that the problem doesn't mention. So the um, width of that well I guess the diameter really of your your cone and your cylinder those are both six inches the cone is six inches tall and the cylinder is six inches tall so this is just something that we, we've got to know and then this is the water at five inches deep and we don't know the depth here okay so this is a related rates problem and we have two different shapes here so we really have to take a moment to understand which one are we referring to so it says, how fast is the level in the pot rising? So that means that we're talking about this. So this is a cylinder. So we have to know really the equation of the cylinder then to kind of figure this out. So the volume of a cylinder can be found by pi r squared h. Okay, so that's part one of this. So now, now that we know what equation we're kind of working with here. We're talking about the cylinder. So notice if we're trying to talk about the cylinder, then the fact that this is five inches deep, that's actually information that doesn't really matter for our question because we are just interested in, in the cylinder. And notice that we're not even interested at a particular height of the water in the cylinder. We are really just interested in more of this general rate of how fast is the water level rising. Okay, so now you have to kind of interpret this. Um, what are we actually trying to figure out in this case? Which, which letter, when we talk about the level in the pot rising, what is that referring to? Is that referring to volume? No, it's not rising with the volume. Radius? No, that would be like expanding, right? So H is really what we're kind of talking about when the, the height is kind of changing. Okay, so we know that we're, we're probably trying to solve some rate related to this. Now, the next thing that you have to do with related rates problems is you have to take a moment and just think, what is changing? Is there anything that is not changing? Well, when you look at this particular shape, the radius is actually constant throughout, right? The radius never changes because it's, it's a cylinder. So the, the radius is always the same. That's different for the cone. But for the cylinder itself, the radius is always the same. So the radius in this case would be three. So we'll maybe note that. So here I have R equals three. And so with a related rates problem, whenever you have some, um, some letter that's not changing, it's, it's going to be a constant, you actually wanna plug that in. So now I can go a little deeper with this question and plug in this three. So here is kind of the situation I have for this problem. Okay, so the rest of this is changing, right? The height is changing, and because the height is changing, the volume is also gonna be changing. So this is where your rate is going to come in. And so then to bring in our rate, um, this is where we wanna take the derivative. So you can only get to rates by taking the derivative. So you're gonna implicitly differentiate with respect to time. And how do you know you're going to differentiate with respect to time? Well, look at this rate here. This is a rate with respect to time. So if I take the derivative of v with respect to time, that will be dv dt. And then all I have to do on this side is take the derivative of h, right? That's the only letter that's left. So if I take the derivative of h, this is going to leave me with 9 pi dh dt. Okay. 
So we're trying to solve really for this DHTT that's going to be talking about the, the, um, the, how fast the level is rising. So what do I plug in for DVDT? That's the only way I can solve for this, right? Well, now I go back to the original problem. And so notice it says the water is draining into the pot at this rate. So this is actually the rate that the volume is changing. So now we're, we're basically in the home stretch here. So I plug in 11 for DVDT, and then this is 9 pi dh dt, and now I can just solve. So dh dt is going to equal 11 over 9 pi, and so that's equal to 0.389 inches a minute. So that's my dh dt. Okay, so that's part one. Now, part two. How fast is the level in the cone falling? So let me bring back that picture. So this is the situation, but now we're specifically talking about the cone. And so the way that this problem is worded is actually a little bit tricky because in the previous part, they actually gave you some information about the cone. Remember, I'll, I'll circle it here. It says when the cone is five inches. So we might wanna just note that. So the, the cone is at five inches. And I know I have it marked here as well, but I, I just wanna kinda of spell that out so we don't forget it. So now we're talking about the cone. So first things first, let's just write down what the volume of a cone is. So we're gonna be working with the formula one third pi r squared h. Okay, so now how fast is the water level falling? So we are actually still talking about trying to get to the height here, right? But now there's a problem that is different from the previous one. So in the, the previous problem, our radius was constant, right? So we got to just plug in the three in, in for our radius because it wasn't gonna change. The problem with this formula is that the radius is constantly changing. So we have to think through what does that mean? So if I try to take the derivative of this as it is, so I, I can't plug in any other numbers because the radius is changing, the height is changing, the volume is changing. And if I try to take the derivative with respect to r, so just looking through this problem, there is no information about the rate of the radius changing. You see what I'm saying? So what that's telling me is we're, we're just talking about how fast is the water level in the cone falling. We are really trying to solve for a rate related to the height. We have literally no information relating to the radius. So what that means then is that we have to see if we can rewrite r in terms of h. So I wanna take a moment to blow up my cone and think about what I know about it. So I know that the height of it is six and the radius of it is th three. So that is the overall height and radius. So I wanna see now, can I relate that to kind of what happens as the water level rises? So can I set up some sort of proportion really? So if I were here and here, so we will, we'll just name whatever this height and radius are, will you just use general letters, R over H. So what you've really got here then is you, you've got like um, your, your similar triangles, so you can set up a ratio with this. So I've got R over H is going to equal three over six. And from here, then what I can do is I can solve this for r equals one half h. So I just simplified the fraction and I multiplied both sides by h, so I got this. So the reason that I wanna do this is like I said, in the original function, we had no information about what r was at the time and, we, and more specifically, we had no information about like the rate of how r was changing. So that kind of indicates to us then that we wanna get rid of the R if we can, which we can, we can make this substitution. So let me just get rid of this cone here. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this equation here and I'm gonna plug it in for my R. So I'm gonna rewrite this as B equals one third pi one half H squared, oops, and I'm running out of room, times H. Okay. So now this is the equation that I'm gonna work with. So if I work all of this out, I get one third pi times one over four h squared times h. 
So my volume formula will be 1 over 12 pi h cubed. Okay, and so now this is what I want. Um, I, I can totally work with this. All right. So let me clear a little space. And so now let's go ahead and take some derivatives. So if I take the derivative of v, that's going to be dv dt equals 1 half pi. So now I take the derivative of h cubed. So that will be, oops, sorry, this is 1 over 12. So this will be 3h squared dh dt, which now if I simplify all of this, I get dv dt equals 1 over 4 pi h squared dh dt. Okay, so pause the video if you just need a second to, to think through all that detail. Make sure that you, you believe all of that. I'm going to make more space again. Okay, and so now do I have enough information to actually solve this? So we're talking about how fast is the water level in the cone falling. So I'm trying to solve for dh dt. So um, do I know what h is? Yes, I do. It is this 5 inches because we're talking about the moment where the, the water level is at 5 inches. So we can plug in 5 for that. What do I do about dv dt? So dv dt, this 11 inches cubed, this had to go, this had to do with the rate that was going into the pot. Um, so how could I interpret this then for how it's draining out of the cone? So the way that the this rate is changing, it's actually the, the same for both of these devices. So if it's draining into this, this rate would be positive. So if it's draining out of it, how would I interpret this rate? It would be negative. So we can actually rewrite dv dt. This will be negative 11 and then 1 fourth pi 5 squared dh dt. And so now we're, we're basically in, in the home stretch here. So um, I can rewrite this as negative 11 equals 25 pi over 4 dh dt. And then if I go through and I solve for that, so what I get is dh dt equals negative 0 0.56 inches a minute. Now you have to be careful with interpreting this now, okay? So this is the actual rate. The rate itself is negative, but then if you say how fast is the water level falling, well falling is a word that indicates that the rate must be negative. Therefore, when you're looking at this, if you're talking about when it's falling, you would say it's falling at 0.56 inches a minute. So maybe I'll just note that. So I'll erase this and I'll say falling at 0 0.56 inches a minute. That would be a different question than if I just said what is the rate, um, at, at what rate is the water like <laughs> at what rate is like the, the water like exiting the cone or maybe what, what is, sorry, the better way to say this, sorry, I'm totally thinking on the fly here now. What is the rate at which the height of the water is changing? So if there's no word to indicate that the water is draining out, but instead you just ask a general question about what rate is the height changing, then you would say that it's negative. But if you bring any, if you say anything about the water exiting the cone, then it's kind of assumed that it's, it's negative in this context because it's draining out of. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so that's it for this one. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. Any questions, comments, you know where to leave them. I'll see you guys next time.